Hello there, I'm Lee and welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to mine a new coin called XDNA. So this is a CPU and GPU mineable coin. I'll be showing you how to mine it using your GPUs. You can you mine it using a AMD or an Nvidia graphics card. So this coin was actually brought to my attention by a member of the community. So one of your fellow subscribers, uh, you can thank him for this. So George G responded in the comments, Lee, could you make the same guide for the XDNA masternode setup dual mining with Claymore? So just to let you guys know, I did read all the comments and if you guys make a good uh, suggestion like this, um, there's a good chance that I'll follow it up and respond either directly to you and I might even make a video response um, as well. So thanks to George uh, and that's kind of uh, the reason why I found out about this project. So let's take a little look at the project in detail. I'll just spend a, a minute kind of covering uh, the fundamentals um, and a few of the details of this particular coin. So on the official website, of course, I'll put a link in the description to everything that you need to get started. Um, so it is a hybrid coin is probably the best uh, description for it. It has a proof of work element and later on changing over to proof of stake. At the moment, it's currently mineable using your GPUs, like I say, and also a CPU element, but I won't be covering that in this video. And it also has a master node aspect. So this is a new coin and they kind of want to uh, deal with a few problems of other coins. So they wanted to make it um, ASIC resistant, they wanted to make it more stable, they wanted to make it uh, profitable for miners. And also uh, from a separate side of things was the masternode side, they wanted to make that kind of that whole realm um, accessible. Normally masternodes are very expensive and a lot of people can't get involved. So this project, they kind of wanted to address all of those particular problems. So one of the cool features that I really liked about this coin or one of the standout features is this called this bit gun. And you can't see it here very well but I'll come on to it in just a moment, but that was one of the primary features that I really liked it. Like I said, it also has three different types of master nodes. So you've got um, uh, a light, a medium, and a full node, and they cost different amounts of coins respectively. Um, I'll probably do a separate video focused purely on the master node um, aspect of it. There is a small pre-mine, and also uh, I believe it is 1% goes to the foundation, and they'll be using that money to kind of further support uh, the project itself. Obviously, just a few of the sort of the problems that they think they are solving with this project. It is a Kekek algorithm coin. So what that means is that you can dual mine it using the Claymore's dual miner. So if you're already used to mining Ethereum and say Decreed or Ethereum and Cycoin, etc., you can do the same thing with this coin. You can dual mine it. You can mine Ethereum and this coin XDNA at the same time. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, they've got a roadmap, they're already working through some uh, different things. Um, I've seen quite a few, I mean, they've only been going for like 11 days and they've already made um, good progress so far. Uh, the website looks great for a start. Uh, the wallet looks good. And, um, you know, it seems to be making that they're making quite good progress in just a short period of time. Um, here's the technical specifications. So for the first uh, million 440,000 blocks, it's going to be proof of work. Um, and also that combines with the master nodes. And then after that point, it's going to be solely proof of stake and the master nodes um, taking uh, the rewards. Uh, just to back on those master nodes, uh, like I say, there is a, a, le a light, a medium, and a full master node. And the full fast node master node requires 5,000 coins, and there's the relevant rewards. One meg block size, one minute block times, and number of confirmations. Pretty uh, standard stuff for everything else. Uh, let's take a look at the Bitcoin talk uh, thread. There's just some extra information I just want to cover there very quickly. So we've already covered the technical specifications. Uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. This bit gun, like I say, it's one of the primary features. So normally, if you're mining a proof of stake coin, you have a block reward, and let's say the block reward is um, 10. That block reward is um, distributed uh, evenly no matter how many miners are on the network so if you have a network of 10 miners each one of those miners would effectively kind of get one coin from that block um, and if there is a hundred miners you're going to get like 0.1 um, so that effect means that the more miners that come in basically everyone gets less and less 
With BitClan, what they've uh, changed is as the network gets bigger, the network hash rate increases, um, so does the block reward. So that's quite an interesting concept. I haven't seen any other coins do that. I'm certainly not aware of any other coins that have done that. So the more miners that come into the network, the block rewards are going to increase slightly, and hopefully that should kind of keep everyone earning a, on a more sort of stable basis. So I quite like that feature. I'm not sure if they've got the economics of that quite right. That's something that is kind of a bit beyond the realms of this video, um, but it's certainly an interesting concept. So more miners and more rewards to kind of compensate those miners should mean that it kind of balances out quite nicely. Uh, Back again on the master nodes, I've already sort of talked about that briefly. And then um, that's pretty much it for, for the thread there. They're the main sort of uh, features. A uh, lot more stuff regarding master nodes, but I'm not really gonna cover that. Uh, oh, one other thing was the uh, proof of ward block distribution. So you can see here, 70% uh, of it goes to miners, 15% uh, to full nodes, 9% medium nodes, 3% light nodes, and the other 3% is to the foundation and uh, developers funds. And like I say, there was also a, a pre-mine of 0.7%, um, and they also earned some funds from each block afterwards. So bear that in mind. Uh, also, uh, taking a look now at a few of the uh, trading details, profitability, etc. The coin is only currently tradable on Crypto Bridge at the moment, and it is currently trading for 8,234 uh, Satoshis. Uh, when I started, I think it was about 9,000, so it's dropped um, a little bit just actually was just before I started recording this, as a matter of fact. But um, that's the only exchange for this coin um, at the moment. You'll find some extra details about the coin on masternodes.online. Like I say, you've got the light, the medium, and the full node. You can see the respective prices uh, if you wanted to set up a masternode. And looking here, which is kind of a little bit more detailed. These are kind of the incomes that you would re receive if you did have a, a full master node, um, but it's just got the price there in uh, dollars and cents, so it's a little bit easier to see. So currently trading at 64 uh, cents and a market cap of 804,000. So just taking a look at the profitability and then I'll go on to the, the mining tutorial. Um, so I kind of had a bit of mix up with the uh, results. I only started mining this late last night, so uh, with some of my miners mining, I had it mining for around about 15 hours and I earned 2.75 uh, coins. So if you work that out, for me, it roughly works out as 0.1833 coins per hour. And if I divide that between these mining rigs, that's about 16 GPUs at 200 mega hashes each, um, you can work out kind of what the earnings are per GPU per day. So taking those figures, I worked it out to be uh, 17.6 pence per GPU per day using the current sort of figures. So you're gonna earn 0.75 coins per day with your average GPU. And uh, you know if they're currently trading at 64 cents, that gives you a remainder of 17.6 cents. So I know it's only um, pennies. It's not a very, uh, an awful lot of money uh, per GPU. But what I will say is that this is a dual it can be a dual mind so you're mining it alongside your ethereum mining so it's a great addition um, to that so i think anyone that mines this uh, coin i think it's early days there's a good chance that the price could increase in the future um, but even at the moment i mean if you just to mine it and sell it i think it's going to be a great supplemental income to your uh, current mining efforts so mine this alongside your current uh, Ethereum or Etash, whatever else, if, for example, if you're mining uh, Ethereum Classic or Expanse, etc. Um, you can mine this alongside that and um, it's going to give you an extra income. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump into the mining tutorial. So one of the first things that you want to get is the miner. So we're going to be using Claymore's dual Ethereum miner. Um, I'll put a direct link in the description for you, or you can find it on Bitcoin Talk. If you use my link, um, I'll include some startup files to help you get started. So you download Claymore's dual Ethereum miner. It's currently 11.8. That's the version that you need um, because this version supports the dual um, mining mode uh, and it supports Kekek. The, some of the older miners, they support different um, secondary coins, but not, this is the one that you need. So 11.8, 
And like I say, I'll put a link in the video description if you want to download this version. So if you download my one, you'll have a batch file already included, um, or you can create your own using these instructions. So if you right click and we go to edit, and I'll break down the instructions uh, for you so you can get started. So the first part is the call to the mining program. And then we've got dash epong. So this is the Ethereum mining part. So you can see I'm mining at uh, ethermine.org. And this is my Ethereum wallet address. And then I have a worker name. And then this is the password. Just the default password is X. And then we have in our secondary coin. So the secondary coin starts from here. So this hyphen D pool. So this indicates that we also want to join a secondary coin. So we've got our pool link there. And then this is the address that I'm mining to. So I'm mining at Supernova and I'll show you how to get set up with uh, Supernova in just a moment. So it's xdna.supernova.cc and then we have colon and then the port number. And now we're gonna have our work details. So the worker part or you have is actually in two parts. So you have your username first, so it's risky fire dot or period full stop, whatever you wanna call it. And then the worker name, so I've got worker one. You have to create these worker names. Don't just use any name you like. You have to create them within the uh, supernova dashboard. And then we've got the password. I use a default password of X for the workers. It's not, you don't need to worry about security on that. The ASM is like uh, just for the mining mode. Um, you can leave that in or out, doesn't really matter. I find that on your AMD rigs, you might get a slight performance increase. The next up we have dash this decree. Uh, that is the secondary coin mining intensity. So by default it is 30 and you can increase it to say 50 if you want to increase the value of the mining intensity of the secondary coin. Or you can reduce it to say 15 if you want to reduce the, the intensity of the secondary coin and that would mean that you would mine more uh, Ethereum. Uh, once I start the miner, I'll show you how it sort of uh, runs and you, you can also use the plus and minus keys to adjust the intensity on that. It's much easier. So then this part is quite important. So Dcoin and this is the the algorithm of the secondary coin. So it's Kekak. And then all pools one just allows the claymores uh, to mine its dev fee. Uh, so you can leave that in there as well. So then you want to, once you've got all that in there, if you write it as a text file or however you wish to do it, you can go to file. And then you want to save as, and then whatever you want to call it, but you must make sure you call it a dot bat, and then where it says save as type, go to all files, and then you save. In this case, it's going to say, do you want to overwrite it? So we say yes. So that is our mining uh, batch file, and I'll start the miner now. So you can just double click on that, get it started. So we've got two cards, uh, non-bias modded. We've got RX 560 and a RX 570, both four gigabytes. So you can see here it's dual mining mode, Ethereum plus KKK, and we've connected to both of the pools. So I'll just leave that running in the background just for a moment, and I'll just show you how to get started with the Supernova pool. So I've covered Supernova in my videos before. It's pretty easy to get set up. Um, I'll link in the description for you, so, but the website is xdna.supernova.cc. Um, if you mined with Supernova before, you should be able to just log in using your previous details. Um, however, uh, I tried to do that and it didn't actually work for me, so you might have to create a new account even using the same details just to make you aware of. Uh, but once you've logged in, you've registered your email address, you want to go to My Account, and then you want to go to My Workers. And then in the worker name, you just want to add a worker name. So we'll just say demo, for example. And then the worker password, like I say, you just can use X or a password of your choice, and you want to add the new worker. That is the new worker, and it gets started from, from there. Go back to your dashboard. You can kind of see your current mining rate. You can see I've got a couple of different miners on here and the hash rates that they're currently uh, producing. So worker one is the machine that I'm currently on, and it's one that I've just um, started, so that hash rate will increase. 
um, as more shares are submitted to the pool. And let's just take a look at how the miner is running now. So we just scroll up just a little bit. So you can see, like I say, it's dual mining both. Just refresh there. So we're getting a total speed of Ethereum, so 13.099 mega hashes. And for XDNA or the KKK algorithm, we're getting 392.96. Um, so you can see the, slight, the slightly um, the cyan color and the yellow color is for each of the different or the coins or algorithms. And um, as always, just wanted to see that you're getting total shares that should slowly increase over time and make sure you're not getting any uh, rejected shares. So they're the performance that I'm getting on these machines. Uh, what I have found is that my AMD miners seem to mine uh, the KKK algorithm slightly faster than the NVIDIA miners, but with a slight performance reduction on the, the Ethereum algo. Um, just to show you, you can uh, change the mining intensity um, kind of on the fly. So you start the miner up like it is now. And then if you use your uh, plus and minus keys, I'll show you if I reduce it. So reducing, we are reducing the mining intensity now of the secondary coin. So what you should see is that the Ethereum hash rate will start to pick up. So you can kind of tweak it depending on whether you want to kind of focus your bias more on uh, the secondary coin or the primary coin. You should be able to find like a sweet spot that works uh, good for you. Um, but like I say, just play with those uh, keys, you can adjust it and um, you'll see what the performance uh, results are there for you. Again, uh, just while that's mining, I just want to add a little extra piece uh, in here. Um, so if you download using my link for the Claymore Shore Theory Miner, I've also included a extra batch file, which is this, iMineBlocks uh, donation. I'll just show you what's in there. Um, and all it is, is a optional script that you can run if you wish to donate um, to me personally. Um, and it, all you're doing is but just mining um, towards my account. So if you guys uh, think the video has been useful and you would like to sort of um, say thank you, you can just run this script, uh, run it for as long or as little as you like, and it will just kind of um, contribute a little bit to my account. Um, and that way you just kind of like, you know, supporting me with your hash power so you don't have to send any coins to me or money or anything like that. If you would just like to you know, help me out, you can run that script and um, that, that would be a huge help for me. So, so thanks if you decide to do that. And you can see the, the, uh, the Ethereum hash rate now is now at 28. And actually, uh, the KKK algorithm XDNA is only reduced by 100. So there should be a sweet spot in the middle around there. So for me, it's probably around about 20, but um, I've got a little bit more testing to do. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful, interesting, and informative. If you did like it, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing. I do put out regular content like this on a fairly regular basis, and it'll be great to have you as part of our community. Uh, also, any other coins or projects that you find interesting, let me know in the comments. I'll, I do check them out if I can spare the time. And you know, some of them are really good, like this one looks to be a good project. So let me know what your thoughts are on these uh, projects. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next video.